Does keeping your heart healthy sound like something you'd be interested in? Every year, heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States and throughout the world. It is responsible for almost 30% of America's death rate each year. Add strokes to that number, and you have over 750,000 Americans die every single year from cardiovascular disease. Remember this health preamble. If what you eat will cause it to get fat, it will cause cancer. If it will cause cancer, it will cause diabetes. If it will cause diabetes, it will cause cardiovascular disease. What causes heart attacks? The root cause of all cardiovascular disease is what scientists call hypoascorbemia, which is a lack of ascorbate. The endothelial layer, or innermost lining of arteries, becomes watery and leaks due to this detrimental deficiency of ascorbate. Then, the body's defense mechanism kicks in. Lipoprotein A is formed to patch the cracks in artery walls. Circulating immune complexes in the area cause the artery walls to swell. Fibrin forms a net over the injured area, and trash gets caught in the net. Examples of this trash are heavy metals and undigested or indigestible food, which attach to the fibrin web and continue to build up. Plaque, or inflammation, continues to build and narrow the openings through which blood can travel in the artery walls. Non-bioavailable calcium like pasteurized dairy products, calcium carbonate, and coral calcium harden the plaque buildup. Luckily, there is a warning sign that lets you know when you should be worried. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is an early sign of plaque buildup, since the main cause is plaque that is built up in the kidneys. The heart has to work that much harder to force the blood through the tiny openings you have created, which is the reason the pressure in your blood is elevated. If you ignore this warning, it may lead to a lot worse. Congestive heart disease, angina, myocardial infarction. These are all caused by spontaneous formation of fibrin, or a clot that breaks loose from the plaque, that causes the already narrow opening to close up. A stroke is the same process, but instead of plaque building up in the arteries of your heart, it is building up in the blood vessels in your brain. When the blood supply gets cut off to your brain, like when it gets cut off in the heart, that area starts to die. So how do you deal with it? The first step is to give the body back enough ascorbate to repair the watery vessels. The two-time Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Lewis Linus Pauling, recommended a minimum of three grams per day. Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Louis Ignaro, found that by giving the body arginine and citrulline, needed for the formation of nitric oxide for vasodilation, which is the widening of blood vessels and arteries for better blood flow, resulted in a dissolving of flag. As a side note, professional athletes in the NFL, NBA, and UFC are using nitric oxide as a new supplement to build muscle, increase strength, and improve stamina. Nobel Prize winner Dr. Otto Warburg proved the necessity of the correct blend of essential fatty acids in order to oxygenate the cells of the body. Reducing the intake of carbohydrates and sugar from your routine, along with an intake of the oxygen-rich correct essential oils, reduces the amount of sugar that exists in the blood therefore reducing the amount of plaque that has a possibility to build up. Good calcium is not held in the same regard as it once was. It was believed that since good calcium is stolen from bones to neutralize the effects of bad calcium in the arteries and kidneys, good calcium would reverse the effects of plaque buildup. Now, the credit is given to silica, and to some extent, magnesium. Silica has been found to be effective in remineralizing osteoporotic bones, as well as uniting with aluminum to neutralize its neutralize it in the brain, helping to reverse Alzheimer's disease. The proteolite seropeptase has proven to be the real breakthrough, in part from the publicity of the work of Dr. Hans Niepier. Although science has not, still not found anything that will digest trans fatty acids, which go directly to artery walls and kidneys, it has been found that seropeptase will dissolve the plaque component of, from the walls of the arteries and consequently help flush it out of the body. So what do you do next? Take a minimum of 3,000 milligrams of ascorbate every day. In its most basic form, it's known as vitamin C, to help repair the damage in your arteries and blood vessels. Add L-arginine and L-citrulline to form nitric oxide in your blood for vaso vasodilation and dissolving of plaque. Add the correct essential oils to re and reduce uh, carbohydrate and sugar intake to reduce plaque in the arteries. Add silica and magnesium to eliminate bad calcium from damaging bones and to help dissolve plaque. This also helps with osteoporosis and Alzheimer's. 
at the proteolytic enzyme seropeptase, which is the real key to break, breaking up harmful plaque in the arteries and blood vessels, as well as removing the plaque from the body. It doesn't hurt that so many things are helping the seropeptase with this important step of getting rid of plaque. We hope you've enjoyed the information we have discovered and provided for you, and we also hope you have learned from it. If you would like access to our Healthy Heart Kit, as well as other helpful videos, please visit www.askinsiderdoctors.com.